you can't make this shit up. It is 5.20, our clinic starts at six o'clock, Addie and I, first time running a clinic. You know, we've got a very small group of kids coming, but we're super excited for it. And the power goes out at Quinnipiac, out. We have these little storm lights, but they're doing absolutely nothing. So the sun needs to just stay up, um, but we're gonna make the best of it. Um, <laughs> and uh, hopefully, you know, just us, our presence, our basketball, and at least we can see one of the hoops. Well, we'll make the best of this one. So, just, just can't make it up. Addie, what is your reaction to right. seeing this for the first time? <laughs> we needed this. <laughs> Look at the hometown we hero right this. here. Oh hometown God. hero reverse layup, the patented reverse. Wow, we got some elites over here. We got Jen, Jay, <laughs> Aaron, McClure, the OG crew. This is the OG crew right Yo, here. This, this is it. the OG crew. They started it. This is such a sick picture too. They like This is thing. such a good picture. Hey, can't forget the alums. Can't forget the ones who led the way, right? Jasmine Martin, the Morgan Mans, <laughs> and then Paula, our Latvian queen. This is awesome. I can't believe this is the first time you've really seen it like no, lit up. Like lit up? This yeah. is great. Yeah. This coach. Uh, this? Yeah, coach did all the all the back lines. last week or so I've just been on a crazy protein oats kick so if you are somebody who loves their oatmeal in the morning I have a recommendation for you the last couple days I've been using the ghost cinnamon bun flavor so this stuff is unbelievable 20 grams of protein this is the vegan one actually um, mix it in with the oats and then add a little bit of almond milk um, I also throw a couple chocolate chips in there. It is so, so good. I used to use just like chocolate um, protein powder, but on, in the oats, the Cinnabon flavor is freaking unbelievable. I promise you will love it. Um, I was hesitant at first, but no, no, no. It's so, so good. So make sure you pick that up if you're someone that likes oats. So, so good. Power Crunch bar. We're good to go. All right, so first thing I've been doing is my time block planner. This is by uh, Cal Newport, one of his products. So... I try to be pretty consistent on um, filling it out. Essentially, it gives you um, a weekly outline. It's not really it's not really a calendar. It's more of a weekly planner, which I like way better. Calendars kind of overwhelm me. If I forget a week, then I get all out of sorts, and then I feel like I've just wasted it, and I don't even end up using it anymore. So this doesn't have any dates. You fill in the dates. So if I know I'm going to have a busy week, um, I try to use it you know, very consistently, but especially if I know I've got a lot going on this week, I'll try and write everything out. So again, it's got you the week ahead, so basically a weekly plan, and then it goes in you know, week 10, day one, again, no actual date so you can fill out the date here which is nice so you know you time block it out so whatever 8 a.m start 9 a.m 9 30 10 however you want to go um and it doesn't i like how it doesn't give the parameters for you because everyone's day is different like today i'm starting the day a little bit later um because we don't have any workouts in the morning so instead of my first thing being at 8 a.m every day today it's going to be at 10 a.m so um that's kind of nice that it's customizable and then on the left side, it has tasks and ideas. So anything that I know, like, that I kind of need to get done, um, I'll kind of write it down here first to outline it, and then I'll move it over into the time block section. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the next, like, 15 minutes or so, and then I'm going to head up to the arena um, and try and get all that stuff done. So just kind of a way to capture ideas, big picture things in the morning that I can kind of reference throughout the day. I just banged out like 
two hours of work. Uber productive. See, when no one's in the office, except for Jazz, she's in there, Jazz and Lori. Get a lot done, no interruptions. Now, that's totally my fault, not anybody else, but running down to the equipment room right now, just checking on to see if any inventory came in for our July stuff. Um, had to print out everyone's sizes again because I cannot remember what size people are. See what we've got. Anything left over last minute that I need to order, it's gonna be happening right now. Okay, this bin is all full of gear for the rooks. really quiet in the offices right now but this is when I actually can get some stuff done so banging out stuff right now we've got the dual setup this has been one of the best decisions I'm um, obviously able to use the big screen here and this weekend I literally spent like honestly like six or seven hours studying um, and learning how to use Google Sheets properly obviously I had a basic knowledge of it but uh, I dove into a couple courses on Google Sheets and uh, trying to get really proficient in making drop down menus formulas um, all that good stuff which is really fun so I am uh, jumping right in and now we are putting sizes into the Google Doc Just all the stuff that's in the program that like when someone asks what someone's size is and I'm looking I'm like okay was that on Excel was that OneDrive was that Google Sheets having everything in one area um, is really my mission for this next week. Started it this past weekend to get all these documents organized and accessible for not just me, but for anybody who needs something. Basketball, QU basketball folder. And now we'll have, you know, our workouts, recruiting, obviously practices, scouts, manager docs, gear, um, all that good stuff. It's like 2.30 right now. So I'm gonna get some lunch probably at like four, like an early dinner before the clinic. Um, so I got a couple hours right now to just finish this up, watch a little bit of film, and then we'll be rocking and rolling for the clinic tonight, six to eight. Also, I switched my office back this way now, which I absolutely love so much better. Um, so, got the bulletin board all over there. Got the jersey hanging up. Got the board, you guys can't see that stuff. Um, then, yeah, got it all, got it all going. I can't say I use that often. Little chair over here, but it's a good, it's a good setup. Drop down menus in Google Sheets, game changer. Everything that I'm organizing, I'm using drop down menus. So what I mean by that is as I'm putting in sizes of stuff, right? Instead of just typing in every single thing and then never being able to really filter it, I can go through each category and tag it. So basically you just highlight the cells that you want, right? Which column you want and how many cells. And you right click and you go to cell actions, data validation, pops up on this bar at the right. So now whatever you want, you would add a rule to it. So let's say you want it to be drop down, that's what you want it on, applying to those cells, right, from F1 to F15, because this is F1 to F15. Again, you don't want to ever do it on the first cell here, you only want it to be below. Well, this is just an example, but then you type, type in whatever you want and you can color code. All right, it's like 5.15, about to get ready for this session. Hit the printer. Anyone who's never seen Coach Fabry's office, check out the ring collection in here. She's got a nice, nice spot, real nice spot. Great. Practice plan, ready to go. All right, we're getting prepped. Week two of Let's the clinic. go. Okay. It was good. The it girls grind. And we did the whole first day with the power out. Let's not forget about that. Oh, Let's yeah. Let's not forget about that. You know. Driving past Addy. We don't want to drive this way because Addy's going to catch up. We want to go right through Addy and make contact with him first. So we're bumping quick on Addy. Now we're driving straight. Now we're getting into a same hand, same foot leg. It's going to feel weird to take two. Right there. Yeah. The closer you are, put one dribble out. Yeah. Oh, 9 p.m. Just wrapping up the day. Really good day. 
really good day. Got a lot of stuff done. Um, had a really good clinic session. That was fun. Um, being out there with like younger kids, um, training them, and not that they're that young, they're middle school, high school kids, but um, just something about teaching that age group is super fun in a small setting. So really good session. Kind of tired, but wrapping up the night.